Well, hello there, my young readers, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. We've got a fun story for you guys. Some of you may remember it from way back when, and some of you may not be very familiar with this original. But this is a fun story. And we've got a surprise at the end, so be sure you stick around for that. Now, if you guys are ready, go ahead, go get your snacks, go get your drinks, pause the video, run to the bathroom, come on back, sit, relax, and we'll get started. Stay tuned. The name of this story is called Ghostbusters. You heard me, Ghostbusters, the original. Enjoy. When there's something strange haunting you, like ghosts and spooks and specters and things that go bump in the night, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! It all began when three scientists named Peter Vakeman, Ray Stantz, and Egon Spangler discovered that ghosts were real and a real problem for New York City. They started a ghost catching business called Ghostbusters. When the alarm rings, they grab their proton packs and ghost traps. Then they race to the scene of the disturbance in their souped up ghost-busting mobile, Ecto-1. The Ghostbusters realized that things were getting a little weird when they answered a call at a fancy uptown hotel. Ray spotted something he'd never seen before, a hungry green ghost named Slimer. He's an ugly little spud. Ray chased Slimer right into Peter. He slimed me. Using his PKE, psychokinetic energy meter, Egon tracked Slimer to the hotel's ballroom. Egon warned the Ghostbusters not to cross their proton pack streams. It would be bad, he explained. This ghost is toast. The Ghostbusters quickly snared Slimer in a tangle of proton beams and sucked him into one of their traps. Soon, more and more ghosts appeared, scaring up trouble all over town. But where were all the ghosts coming from? Peter, Ray, and Egon needed help. So they hired a man named Winston Zettimore. Winston chased ghosts across the city as a Ghostbuster. The answer to that question could be found uptown. A supernatural cloud above a high-rise apartment building was drawing in ghosts from another dimension. One day, a young musician named Dana Barrett was resting in her apartment. Suddenly, her favorite chair came to life and tried to grab her. Hi! And Dana's neighbor, accountant Louis Tully, almost became the chew toy of a snarling terror dog. The Ghostbusters rushed to the rescue. At the top of the building, they found Dana and Louis and a powerful being named Gozer. Whatever it is, it will have to get past us. Peter declared. Suddenly, Gozer transformed Dana and Lewis into two growling terror dogs with glowing red eyes. Then the villain exclaimed, Choose the form of the Destructor. The Ghostbusters fired proton beams at Gozer, but it vanished into thin air. Suddenly, a spooky voice boomed. The choice is made. Whoa, Peter shouted, looking at his teammates. Did you choose anything? 
I, I just couldn't help it, Ray stammered. Look. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Ray hadn't meant to, but he had thought of it. Now, the destructor had taken the form of a marshmallow man hundreds of feet tall. There's something you don't see every day, Peter joked as the giant marched towards them. The stave puffed marshmallow man climbed the building, reaching out with his delicious puffy hand to grab the Ghostbusters. Kaboom! Egon came up with a radical idea. We'll cross the streams! The Ghostbusters combined the streams from their proton packs into one massive blast and aimed it right into the portal Gozer had opened. Heat from the explosion roasted the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Everything was covered in fluffy white goo, but it had worked. The portal was closed. Dana and Lewis returned to normal, and the city was saved. The heroes were greeted by thousands of cheering fans. I love this town, Winston said. Now, the city knew exactly who to call. The Ghostbusters! Well, that ends our story. And I told you guys it would be a fun one and that some of you guys may be familiar with the characters of this story. This is the original. And some of you probably not. But with Ghostbusters, this debuted in 1984. It's a good while back. (laughs) And then they had Ghostbusters 2 in 1989. Now, there was a big, big gap in between that and when they had another Ghostbusters come out in 2016. That was 27 years of a gap. And in 2016, when they reintroduced or rebooted Ghostbusters, it was Girl Power, and that was that was pretty great to see. Now, 2021, and they bring out Ghostbusters again, Afterlife. Now, they've come up again with another Ghostbusters. And yes, guys, this is coming out in three days. As of this recording, in three days, March 22nd, which is going to be on a Friday, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is going to be premiering. And here's the thing. The original characters that you met in this story, and some who may already know, are going to be in this Ghostbusters. Now, I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters. Love, love, love Ghostbusters. The characters are great. I even love Slimer. A while back, after the Ghostbusters movie premiered, there was actually a Ghostbusters cartoon series that came out, and Slimer was part of the Ghostbusters. I could go on forever about the Ghostbusters, one of my Favorite, favorite movies, the whole franchise. Love them, love them, love them. I'm not going to take up any more of that time because I want to show you all the trailer to the new Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And I will see you guys next week. I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved the world. No eyewitnesses. And who is found to carry the torch? Descendants of Egon Spengler. You have a miner hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. As a proton pack. It's completely safe. I wouldn't say completely safe. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right, well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. You the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? Ah! 
The parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. With the power to kill by fear itself. Like literally scared to death? We might be looking at a second ice age. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform! Yes! If there's something strange, if there's something weird, who are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster well, makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock.